Okay, Helks. Today I wanted to zero in a little bit more on this benzene-specific cartridge from Ray Systems. This is a, a six Raycept tube cartridge used on their brand new um, multi-ray benzene unit. Multi-ray benzene unit is a um, up to six gas configurable instrument, but basically has a 9.8 lamp in it for the PID and um, is used for benzene-specific uh, measurements in the background of other VOCs when you're using the Raycept tube cartridge. I guess the technical term is this Raycept tube, tu Raycep tube cartridge. So anyway, um, it's only to be used with the, uh, the, the multi-ray benzene. Um, but what we have inside here are six Raycept tubes. And if you're familiar with the old ultra rays, um, nothing's new there. Instead, that, uh, what they've done is they put them all inside like a little cartridge. I call it a Gatling gun because what we can do with this is just turn it and it goes from one tube to the next just by turning it. All right, so that's kind of cool. Inlet is going to be here and then a little collar with an indicating arrow which actually diverts the flow from going straight down the middle of the tube into the instrument. That would be your VOC mode. And by pushing this, um, you would then, by pushing it down, diverts the flow into one of the specific Raycept tubes. At the top here, you're going to see numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that way you'll know which tube you're using. And the indicating layer here, this green indicating layer, after, this is actually a tube that we did use in this last video, a sample from ben, uh, benzene. Uh, actually, it was xylene, showing how that xylene is trapped in the indicating layer here. And the color metrics of that detector tube showing you that you're getting something other than benzene. And when we did the benzene, it went straight through the tube right into the PID and we were able to detect it. And so that's how this works. We're using chemistry here in a detector tube to then um, retain or let the benzene straight through the tube. So you're, you've got that system going for you. On the other end, what it connects into, you have the traditional um, uh, lure lock tube fitting. Um, just like the white filters and all the other types of things that Drag or that, the Drager, that, that Ray Systems uses, uh, it just hooks on and, and you're good to go there. So nothing's changed there. So the question I have, and uh, I, I won't have an answer for you, can this be used on a traditional uh, multi-ray? Uh, I know with a 10.6 lamp that would be a problem because we can't filter out everything with the race up tube. That's why we have to go to a 9.8. But if we put a 9.8 lamp in a traditional multi-ray, could I use this cartridge still in a limited capacity? So that's something we'll, we'll talk about later. Um, what right, right now we want to do, it's being brand new, we want to do what the manufacturer tells us to do um, always. So they're saying no, so we'll, we'll, we'll do it, but maybe we'll do some tests down the road. But anyway, it's all based upon this little diversion valve right here. And if we do that, now we're going right down the middle and it's a typical VOC PID with a 9.8 lamp. When we press that valve the other direction, it bypasses it into one of the race up tubes. If you have any other questions on this, give me a call, 1-800-952-3293. And again, get, reach out to us. Let us know if there's any technical information you need or any training on this or you want a product demonstration, just give us a call. Thank you very much.